Let's get started with VS Pro and do some initial setup, some of the settings in there, and um, a little bit of an introduction into VS Pro, but we're, let's go through some of the settings. So let's open up Unity. And remember, we have this main folder for VS Pro, and then underneath this is another VS Pro folder, and that's the one we really want to click on. And then over here, we've got the VS Pro inspector, and everything for VS Pro is there's just a ton of stuff underneath here under this whole screen, and we're going to start changing some of the things over here. So the first thing we want to do is in this settings section, this is the main settings section, there's all these tabs in here. Um, under cameras, we want to go down here and we want to remove any extra cameras you, so you have in here. So we want to remove this main camera. Uh, not the end of the world if you don't, but it'll it'll create some errors. It'll be removed, but you'll see some errors in the GS Pro side of the house. But um, just go ahead and remove that first main camera. And we should just have um, just the scene camera here. Now we're going to head over to Terrains. And I'm going to remove all these because you guys are, you might see nothing in here. Um, but at this point, we want to add all the terrains that we want to plant vegetation on. Okay. Um, so you go down here and you click add all unity terrains. And when you do that, um, what's going to happen is you're going to see, uh, first of all, you're going to see foliage, you'll see inner, and you'll see outer. Um, we do not want to plant on inner, okay? Uh, we want to plant on foliage and outer, so I like to remove the inner, so you can just open up that little, hit this little, looks like a little clock or a dot over here. I just type FFF, none, and then that removes it, okay? Um, so we really only, optimally, we want our foliage and our outer because we really don't want to plant on our inner, right? Because our inner is lowered. Um, we want to plant on our foliage and our outer. One thing you'll note is if you come over here to your like inner terrain, you're going to see that it added this uni terrain script to it. And this is really ultimately what's going to allow us to plant on it. Same thing with our outer. We get that uni terrain script as well. And there's going to be one on our foliage. But, but we remove the inner from our Vegetation Studio terrains here. So we won't be planning on it. The next thing that we're going to change is in this vegetation tab, and this controls how far out we're going to render certain things that we plant with VS Pro. So if we plant grasses, um, the distance, they're going to be rendered out to 150 yards. It's a little clo close. I mean, we want stuff to render a little further. So if you're looking out on the course and grasses only go to 150 yards, they're going to disappear after that. So we're going to raise this up, and this is just a good starting point. We might want to tweak these later on. I like to put them around 260 to start with. And then additional tree mastitions. So beyond that, okay, how far our trees are going to render. And we want to put that out maybe like another 130 yards past our grasses. And then our billboards, we can lower that down to about 1,500. So that are, that's about you know a kilometer. So a good starting point for those is 1,500. So how far we want our billboards rendered. And let's say we want those out about uh, one and a half kilometers. Um, we're going to leave everything down here to fault. This can come in handy later on, though. Let's say that your performance is bad and you've traced it down to a tree issue, a plant or grass density. It's too dense. You can lower the density for you know particular types of objects down here. It'll reduce the number of things in your scene, so they'll thin out a little bit, but it'll help with your performance. But just leave them at one for now, and then potentially later on, you could you could use these to help with your performance just a tad. So those are just some of the initial setup things, and um, pretty quick, let's move on to the uh, next section. We're going to you know start setting up some biomes.